Hey everyone, Merix here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Justin Bradshaw, Acolytes Protection Agency. This is version 2.0, so uh, you may have seen my earlier preview. Well, um, Scopely buffed Bradshaw, so that's a good thing. He is uh, better than he was a little while ago. Um, he is still a chaotic showboat from the Attitude Era. And he still has the same uh, links and gear. So he still has the APA link, any color moves, starting MP reduced by 5 for your opponent. And the Attitude Era, gems do 10% more damage. He has one gear, the APA gear. He is a good trainer, a very good trainer. And they actually added a couple more tiers to it. All the way at 15k, red gems are going to do 25% more damage. Blast gems are going to do 100% more damage. And moves that generate blast gems are going to create three more blast gems. So he is a key trainer for sure. And certainly someone that's going to be worth taking to that uh, 15k mark if you're using any kind of blast gem guy. Um, he's going to be good. Uh, Earthquake comes to mind as someone that would benefit huge from this coaching ability. So I have seven builds for you guys. I know I had six earlier. Uh, I have seven now. Uh, he is definitely uh, more viable than he was, better than he was. I actually had a lot of fun playing him earlier as he was. Basically, all the moves have gotten buffed as far as damage goes by about 40,000 damage. And the red 4x2 area that was random is now a choose move that chooses yellows. Uh, it was a random area, so... Uh, very nice improvements. Anyway, <clears throat> seven builds for you guys, so that's enough talking. Let's take a look at the first one. It's a three-star move set. It features the JBL Bomb, 11 yellow MP finisher, deal 106,000 damage plus 13,381 bonus damage for every yellow gem. The reversal, 4 MP yellow kickout, deal 48,000 damage and gain 441,000 health. And the flowing DDT, deal 77,000 damage and choose 8 yellow gems to destroy. Uh, for the entourage, we're going to run with Kofi for more yellow MP to start. We are going to run with Orton for yellow move damage. You could also run with yellow gem damage trainers here, uh, Cena, Showboat Cena, and Showboat Macho. Uh, for this one, I'm going to run with the move damage. Uh, we'll see the other trainers later. Um, Sasha for 9k ability of increased yellow gems on the starting board. And this time, I'm just going to run with Robo Cena for 20% less red uh, gem damage. Going to go against Vader on the road, and let's check him out. Now, you're going to see my graphics still show Double Fury uh, because he is very gem damage based. However, he has a lot more move damage now, so you could also substitute Takedown in there um, as well. Um, so keep that in mind. All of these, you're going to be able to substitute Takedown. Pretty ugly starting board. Um, not real great. At least I have a purple match. Yellow is optimal. Uh, but it's okay because uh, the kickout is ready to go. So, an invader can do Vader things and it's not going to matter. So, he doesn't have his moves ready. I have my kickout charged. Um, we don't have a lot of yellow gems on the board. Uh, if I destroy three, then I'm really not going to have a lot. Um to load it so i'm just going to do the match um that way i can hit the finisher and then do the destroy and load it again um, and also keep that reversal ready again uh with jbl uh, keep in mind taking damage doesn't necessarily mean the end of the world because of that kick out it's quite good um, this is going to be pretty weak damage wise uh, from the gems because there's only four uh, but that's okay the move damage is still pretty good at 150k also, the skill plate I like, um, you could either use the two words for you, um, but I also really like the time once again plate. And when you break three purples, you get three yellows. That would have already paid dividends this, um, this particular match. So again, we could hit the purple now, um, but I do have the kick out loaded. So, and I have a yellow match, so I'm going to go ahead and take that and uh, let Vader do some damage and we'll use that reversal. If he pins us, which he should. 
It's interesting when you play with a character like this, you really don't care about uh, damage, so you have to look at it a little bit differently than you normally would. This build set doesn't have any of the yellow gem generation, so it is going to be a little bit board dependent. Now the kickout's ready. We don't have a lot of yellow. I'd like to get more on the board, so I'm just going to go ahead and unfortunately kick out. <laughs> um, that did not work out as planned, but that is okay. Um, we need five. That would be a pretty weak finisher. However, I'm going to go ahead and I'll take four. I really wanted to get a purple match in there, but that's okay. The board is not being cooperative. Same thing applies, gonna try and get some more yellows to drop. And I'm gonna go for one more match here. Okay. That's gonna be really close damage-wise, probably. Um, doesn't look like the kickout did a whole heck of a lot of damage there, though, interestingly. Should probably keep him down, but it's Vader, so I don't like to jinx myself. Okay, there you go. That was a really, really ugly board. Uh, about as bad as it can get. Super dry, didn't hit our matches, and uh, we still ended full health. Uh, so next up is a shout-out to my guy, Southside. I was talking to him, and we were talking about stuff, and he's like, I kind of want to try this build, um, or a variation of this build. The red move was different, and even then I thought, hey, that might work. That's kind of interesting. So I decided to put it in this video because it's, uh, it's really interesting. It's a tricolor build, and it has a lot of potential for some big hits. This is available starting at 4-star. That's not the right button. I do not want to enhance him. So for the moves, we're going to keep the finisher, and we're going to bring Last Call in. It's a 9 MP purple. Deal 89k damage and make all yellow gems into reinforced gems. Then we're going to get the big boot, deal 78k damage, and choose 5 gems to make into yellow gems. That's an 8 MP red. Uh, for the entourage, I'm going to go double MP trainer. We're going to go purple and red, and we're going to look for a purple match on turn 1. So, uh, Butch and Woods. With a purple match on turn one, you can do some interesting stuff on turn two. This one does not have the kick out, uh, but it is still pretty interesting. It could also potentially be interesting coming in as a hot tag um, as well. Uh, yeah, we want Zombie Charlotte. Right here, that's 25% increased chance of purples on the starting board because we want that purple match. And then um, Hall of Fame Booker T, I know he's rare, but he was a chase card. Uh, generating one extra yellow is kind of nice on the choose. Not required, but is useful. So let's get out here and take a look. A time once again skill plate would be really good for this one, but purple gives yellow. Really, really good. Uh, we do have our purple match, so that's beautiful. So we're going to be able to do things on turn two. So there's a few ways um, you can do this, and if it works out right, um, that'll be really cool. Let's see how, how it goes. So I'm going to make a 5 match that I can swipe into. 
here. And then we're going to load up um, some yellow gems. Not as many yellow gems on the board as I would like, but now we can turn them all into reinforce. Perfect. So that is exactly how you want that to work. It didn't force the pin. We still have all the a bunch of yellow gems out there. Not quite all of them, but a bunch. Um, and the finisher is loaded and ready to go. If I had a little bit more pin bar, if we wouldn't have got the one cascade, I would take this red match. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking about taking it in case we need to recycle, but we're going to get a pretty big pin, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, even though it's against the Cascade King, and he'll probably Cascade out. But the finisher should hit pretty hard here. 260k. And Vader decides to lay down and sell for us. So there you go. That's a, a turn two win with that setup. That tricolor is really cool. Um, even better with the time once again uh, skill plate there. So big shout out to Southside on that build. Thanks Southside. I'm sure everyone will appreciate that. Moving on. Um, this is a, a... All of these are a, now that you're going to see are a take on movesets I ran in the first video. If you saw the first one, they just happen to be better now because he's better. Uh, we're going to keep that red move in. We're going to keep the finisher. We're going to bring the reversal of that back out. This is, again, a four-star move. And here we're going to see uh, Macho for the yellow gem damage on the finisher. I said I was going to mix the, the trainers around, and I am going to. And instead of uh, purples on the starting board, we're going to go back to yellows. I do like my 9k Zombie Charlotte and Zombie Sasha. I end up using them fairly often for a little bit more consistency when you need a match. I don't like having to get a match, but when I do need one, I like using these uh, those characters. So again, keep in mind, guys, all of these, uh, you could do Fury. Uh, in particular, anytime you're using the finisher, Fury will buff the finisher. So anytime you're using JBL Bomb, definitely recommend uh, Fury. Uh, but you could also use Takedown as well. And this is a pretty nice board. Lots of yellows. And I am going to take a yellow match. Works into a 5 match, so that works for me. And this will load the yellows up. That's about as good a starting board as you're going to get. So this should work quite nicely. We have everything loaded. So now you can just litter the board with yellows for a big finisher. And hopefully some matches later for us. You want to save Vader a few matches if possible. Uh, so he hopefully leaves our yellows alone. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. This should hit pretty hard. Maybe 350k-ish? Pretty good guess. And it looks like um, Vader's gonna lay down for us. There we go. Pretty big hit. Another pretty easy win um, with JBL. And that has the reversal available to it, so that's a nice build that can get you out of trouble. Uh, them changing the red move to a choose I think is really big for that finisher. Um, it kind of has a little bit of Hall of Fame Wendy feel to it because it's a pretty big um, bonus damage there. And that's going to get a lot bigger with Fury, so don't sleep on JBL. Um, he's going to be a very solid uh, showboat for a lot of people. All right, now we come to the five-star move sets, and I got one, two, three, like four of these for you guys. So um, this is going to get go pretty fast here. This one I think is one a lot of people liked from the start. Um, the clothesline from hell and then the double purples. That's So we're going to bring in the five star move, the clothesline from hell, and then we're going to have the purples, which I believe we've seen them both already. So the clothesline from hell is a 9 MP yellow, deal 85k damage and choose four rows to destroy. Uh, flowing DDT, 8 MP purple, deal 77k, that choose the yellow gems. Then we got the reinforce, which is 9 MP purple, 89k damage. 
Entourage, we're going to go with Woods. Again, we're destroying a bunch of the board here. So you could go with Slick Rick. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use Big Show. Uh, part of what I'm trying to do here is show you guys the versatility of this JBL, how just how many different setups he has. The thing with this card is with how many line bonuses we tend to see in Feud and stuff, I can see him fairly often having line bonuses that end up benefiting him a lot. Um, that wouldn't surprise me, just because of how many different uh, colors and builds he has. Uh, so keep that in mind. He should be pretty versatile. He's not um, someone like playing him now that I say, oh man, I'm going to use him in Feud every time. Uh, but I do think he is extremely a uh, useful card. Especially if you don't have a JBL for JBL requirements. His coach ability is great. All the way up to 15k is really, really strong for any of those Blast Gem users. And we're going to bring Zombie Charlotte back in for the purples. So you're going to get your money's worth out of leveling up this card. And then since we're blowing up the board, let's get some gem damage on there. And one of my favorite coaches in Lacey Evans. All right. Let's take a look at this build set. Okay. So we want that purple match. Again, you don't see it listed here. I got the boss plate on there because we're destroying in the two words for you. But the time once again plate where you match three purple, get three yellow would be great. Unfortunately, we're not going to get our purple, but we do have a yellow match. So it's not the end of the world. This build set does not have the kick out. So you want to go quickly with it. Um... I could take the yellow matches. I don't need him. I don't need purple. Um, I'm going to play defensively and not let him get any greens. Since I don't have a kick out in a heal, I'd rather he not do moves. And now we're ready to rock and roll. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I want to keep the yellows on the board, so you, you can do a lot here. I don't necessarily want to destroy them now. So I want to keep him on the board. Um, so I'm going to do it this way. And get that yellow match there and reload that move. Picking up a bunch of purples along the way. That reinforce move is really quite nice. Um, and our yellow is still loaded. We should have no issue finishing him next turn. Again, um, gem damage with the double fury. Could also do move damage uh, and buff the purples. Uh, you could use Gooker as a coach. You could use Hall of Fame Trish. So many options um, with JBL. And he's going to be even better when he's strapped. Uh, like I said, he's a lot of fun to play, really versatile. Uh, he will be great on tours. Um, situationally, for showdown with APA Farouk is a hot tag. Um, Striker Farouk, I could see him being really well. And a few line bonuses when there's extra MP to start. Um, he, could, he could do some work, I think. Um, especially now that his moves are buffed, so... I think people find a lot of uh, decent builds for him and a lot of good use for him. Plus, he's got the the 15k trainer ability that is quite good. All right, next up um, is double yellow red. We've seen all the moves, so I'm just gonna get them swapped out. 
I'm yeah. Um, oh yeah, elbow drop. I'm not going to use this move. Seven MP red. Deal 63k damage and decrease your opponent's black gem damage by 78% for four turns. Really situational. I can see it being useful in survival to tours when you're against strikers that focus on blacks, um, like uh, Zombie Triple H, for example. Um, I'm not going to use it in this uh, preview, but that is the move. Okay. So we're going to bring Butch back for a red... Starting MP. Slick Rick for gem damage. This one is going to be all gem damage. Again, very versatile with trainers. Um, you could do yellow move damage. You could do red move damage. You could do Slick Rick. You could. There's just so much you can do. And then we're going to bring Typhoon in for um, red gem red red gem damage there we go double fury for sure for this one uh again legit boss would be a really good play um also um in time once again general's orders um because you're blowing up four rows anything that adds yellow when you break three is going to be a valuable plate for helping to recycle um, I do have the kick out, so I don't need to worry about playing defensively. Uh, normally I would take greens and try not to let him get greens. Um, but I don't care. Because I want him to pin me. So I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow match, actually. And let Vader do his thing. You guys may have noticed um, I like trying to set up the recycles ahead of time and having options. Ideally, I would like to always keep this kickout move um, full. So out we go. And I can keep it full with uh, just four, four yellow, so... That's perfect. Vader can hit his moves, and I can kick out and be full life again. Nice cascade. Pretty decent hit, 250k, and that's not strapped, so he's going to end up doing some pretty decent damage now. No big deal. Let's see if we can get some different color gems on the board. Just for fun. Oops, I kicked out. Oh well. Sometimes I get greedy when I do that. Okay. Let's do... Those three and... Let's try and get these in the same row. Not quite fully recycled. The board didn't completely cooperate, but Vader can't kick out anyway. And we would be full life, but I got greedy on trying to refresh the board and kicked out. Next move set, instead of the kick out, we are going to bring the finisher in. I believe everything is going to stay the same. Except we're going to have the finisher and the clothesline from hell. So basically you're using the clothesline from hell to try and recycle. Uh, you'll hit the finisher first if you have a bunch of yellows on the board. If not, then you'll hit the uh, clothesline from hell first and then the finisher. You can use either uh, as the finisher to keep them down because they're both pretty big uh, move damage. It's just the clothesline from hell is bigger if the board cooperates.
and you can definitely see uh, how much difference the buff makes. Um, there's one more build, um, one more move set in this video than my first one, and it's going to end up being a faster video. So it definitely makes a difference. Yellow match is great. Very happy about this. So here's where we have options. Um, I can try and set up a really big finisher. Um, which, why not? I do need one yellow match, which I can make here. And hopefully not get a cascade. Perfect. And this should hit pretty hard. Two hundred eighty-three K. Invader can't kick out again. All right, the final move set I have for you guys is triple yellow. This one, um, you could go takedown on this one. Um, this is the, the, the most one where you have kind of the most options, in my opinion, for Takedown or Fury. Both are going to be uh, solid for this because you have the Finisher, uh, which would take advantage of Fury. And then you have the Clothesline from Hell um, as well, which will take advantage of Fury. But the move damage uh, metal yellow would uh, work on all of them. So Takedown, you could continue to buff that. And you could get some pretty big move damage out of this one. I'm going to change the entourage all up here. Kofi for more yellow MP to start. Randy Orton for move damage for yellow. Uh, you could also use Big E. He's more yellow move damage as well. You could hot tag this with, say, Dango and have Big E and um, Randy Orton on there for... Bunch of yellow damage. The one downside, though, is both of the moves end up pinning. So you can't hit all three. Actually, you could. You could hit the clothesline from hell and not destroy all four rows. But that would negate a lot of damage. So um, just for funsies on this one, I'm going to put Gooker on for more damage. And we do want a yellow match. Um, so Zombie Sasha goes on. go one more time for us Bradshaw here we go we do have a yellow match so that is beautiful I'm going to take this one. Here's where you can kind of look at the board and be like, hmm, will I get more yellows later? I think this is pretty good for the finisher, so I'm just going to hit the finisher. Very nice. 325,000. And Vader, ooh, Vader kicks out, barely. Perfect. So this is one where uh, General's Orders uh, would be really good. Those three MPs that make yellow uh, time once again would both be very useful for reloading. However, there's yellow all over the board. Um, some cases I would take the three match if I couldn't load my yellows, um, but I can reload the clothesline from hell, so no reason not to hit it. Three, five, seven, nine. Um, clear. Let's do... Let's make a three match. 
times two. Very nice. I don't think Vader's getting up from that. So there you go, guys. Triple yellow. Uh, there's seven move sets for Bradshaw. All really easy wins. Big heals. Uh, he's got a great 15k training ability. Uh, really no reason to not want him on your roster. Uh, if I get him, I plan on taking him to 15k at least for that training ability. And I think once he's strapped up, he'll surprise a lot of people. Super versatile. Actually a lot of fun to play. I enjoy him a lot because I don't care if I take damage um, with those reversals. It's just kind of fun to have some of those guys on your team. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is version 2.0 Bradshaw. Definitely better than uh, the first iteration. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Good luck out there.